one spot to the next. We don't have that. If you say you're in the trades, you're stuck in the trades. The skilled trades of industrial manufacturing. They don't really that manufacturing, manufacturing. Am I correct? You hear that word? We don't understand what is involved in it. When you hear the word manufacturing, we think of the automotive system. Automotive. Yes, I want to know more. It's not just building cars. There's, there's different tiers of support to the automotive system that, uh, that you don't even understand. These are companies that, that offshoots to the manufacturer. The, the car companies you see will assemble the, the actual uh, vehicles, but the components from those cars come from other outside industries. They actually make them with the various skills available. So understanding where we are today and what we're understanding about the, the choices of our young men and women in school is so important. Now, when I started going back more into this, I was totally perturbed by the, the separation of academic and applied. Does anybody know, in two, before 2003, the difference between applied and academic was only 10%? That meant that if a child was in applied courses and it was doing extremely well, it automatically would be promoted to academic. Well, in 2003, that changed. Because somebody decided, I'll say the name of the person, it might be the first time. Something changed. They said it was too difficult for these kids to try to, uh, to understand the applied programs. Let's dumb it down. So there's no correlation between applied and academic. So all of a sudden, that's when the problem starts. But that's not being readdressed. The level of education required to succeed in this society as and we're not addressing it. I work at a university in the mechanical engineering department. And I can tell you, 60 to 70 percent of the students that are coming to the university should not be there. They should not be there. When you ask them, why are you here? Because oh, my parents want to take engineering. Why do you want to do engineering? I oh, don't know. So why is the career counselors? What are they advising these young men and women to do? Go to university. But they forget, what's after university? You're going to find work. And sir. I don't want to insult you now, all right? But if you take a young man that went to university and a young man that got an apprenticeship and got his, his, his journey, well, after four years, the young man that did the trades will be earning close to about fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year. The one at university will have a bill to pay back around eighty thousand dollars. So, and university does not guarantee you a job. I'm telling you that. Okay? If you go to university and think that what you did at university is what you're going to be actually working at, forget yeah. it. I worked in the industry. I did interviews, hiring people. And the first thing you ask the person, what did you do at university? Okay, good. I'm going to teach you now what you need to know. This is, this is the subject. So, understanding these traits is well to go on to the next one. Apply. Academic and all things work. I'm not sure there's a lot of parents in here that don't understand what like the, the, the lady over there was explaining about the young, uh, uh, the children, about picking which courses. I wasn't aware of this until I did a presentation at a, at a, at a local um, housing area. When a word locally developed came up to me, I said, what's that? And this is about, how long ago? Seven years ago? About seven years ago. I walked in, I thought just apply it in academic. And the kids were telling me, no, I'm in local development. I said, what's that? He said, for those who can't, uh, can't um, basically cope with apply. I said, okay. So I said, okay, let me look into this. And they call it by the EP program. <laughs> Heard that word, EP? Any of you come across the word EP? No? The exceptional program?
children don't have the capability to, uh, to actually grasp the programs. One is one with mental issues, and one with behavioral issues. And the word exceptional from where I come from means you feel, feel fantastic. But it means something else. And if you're a person who doesn't understand English in a certain sense, you feel like, oh, what's children? You're exceptional. You're an exception from the law. And so when I started looking more into this, I started looking like, whoa, what is going, what's going on here? And trying to get involved in the, in the community, especially the black community, to understand what's going on here, I started to realize it was getting worse and worse and worse. Children are coming out of the applied program with grade 11. I do programs, I actually teach a young, I used to teach quite a few people in my own time. Understanding they want to get into a technical field. So I take the time and work with them on a Wednesday night after work, working with them. This young man had grade 11 maths, but couldn't do grade 5 maths. He came up to me and said, does that mean I'm dumb? He said, no. Means the system that you do. And I'm sure there's a lot of them in the Now understanding this factor, this is, this is actually changed. There's another level to this. It's called academic prep. Has anybody heard that? No? Academic prep. That used to be your grade 13. The double cohort system failed a lot of people. Yeah. Now I'm working in that field now. The level coming into the universities has dropped drastically. So understanding this is not the way it is anymore. There's one more level. And that's only given place in certain schools. And so understanding what I'm here for is about the skill traits. But I need to, understand, to let you know that my frustration when agencies come to me with young men and women and say they want to get into skill traits, and I realize they can't get into it. They can't get into it. And when I go to presentations at, uh, at uh, detention centers for youth, one young man came to me and said, well, I'm doing applied courses, I'm going to college. I said, yeah, they're going to college, all right. Remember, the first year of you going to college to bring your academics up. If you're going to go to college, you need academic, not applied. If you want to spend an extra year getting to your academic, then take the applied route. I'm not here to, to mince any words, I'm going to tell you the way it is. So now, you understand that the, the, the students that have been focused and they say you're going to go into the trades, can't even get into the trades. And when you demean the trades, thinking, oh, my kid's failing, don't do that. As individuals, you should look around you. All the things you take for granted, are coming from the skilled traits. <coughs> Every single thing around you comes from that sector. Now, the skilled trait sector has changed. One of the hardest things to do is to get an apprenticeship. 